Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. In today's video, four exploding Bitcoin charts that will show you a target that will make you shake, guys. Yes, very important charts. Also, very important news because we have Joe Biden tweeting about Bitcoin as well. Now, also a trading tip, also a travel tip, also some live advice and of course talking about some really cool news that I read today because more than 725 million people already experience an all-time high in Bitcoin. Check the full video, let's jump into the charts first, bam! What an amazing week for Bitcoin it was. We just closed that week beautifully here at the level of 48,313. The lowest part was 42,244 and the highest part even 48,601 guys. Amazing bullish weekly candle for Bitcoin. Now of course the first uh, new candle being opened there will take another six day and 19 hours. I believe we can take this candle even higher. I believe we can take it to above 52k. Uh, this is the highest weekly candle close since December 2021, the top of the bull market, just after the top. So this is a very high candle close. We are going to see much more bullishness in the next couple months, guys, because the halving is coming up in April. Probably we will be around that 50k level in the halving, but after that, I expect us very quickly to go to 60 and 70k to break the previous all-time high. Very important chart, but the more important charts are coming now, guys. This is the first one, the Bitcoin stock to flow model of plan B, of course. We can see we are closing to this beautiful midline of this whole band in the bluish band that you can see there. We are coming closer and closer to that midline. Now, just look back to the previous bull markets. There will be a moment that we will break that midline and from that moment use that midline as a sort of support during the bull market and that will bring us to that horizontal darker area line above 100k that can take all the way to 2028 look down below in the charts but at least from now whole the year of 2024 and 2025 will be bullish years the moment we will break that level it will be an explosive move to take distance from that black line guys we can see here that the total holdings of Grayscale Investment BTC is dropping tremendously from almost 620k Bitcoin down to now 460k Bitcoin. Uh, the price has since then only gone up. So that dumping of those Bitcoins by Grayscale is not influencing the price at the moment in a negative way, but in a positive way. Then, of course, the Bitcoin yearly candles. We can see three green candles, one red candle, that's 12-month bear market. Then three green candles, one red candle, 12-month bear market. Then again, from 2019, three green candles. 2022, one red candle, the bear market. 2023 is the first green candle, 156% profit in that year. Now, 2024 is the second green candle, which will probably be bigger than the first green candle. If you look back in history, the second one was mostly bigger than the first one. And then in 2025, we will get the third green candle, which mostly is the biggest one. But sadly, in the last bull market, it wasn't the biggest one because we had a distribution top. But still, two green candles ahead when you zoom out really big into the yearly candles, which means buying Bitcoins at the current levels is still cheap. We can also see, if you look at the halvings, that each and every halving, we are higher than the previous one. The first halving was around $12. The second halving was around $800. The third halving was around $8,000. And the fourth halving will be around 50,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. And we will increase another halving in 2028. And in 2028, we will again be higher than that halving that we are going to see now at 50K. In 2028, we're going to be higher than that halving. Probably 80K maybe or something like that. A very simple chart to understand, but you still, but a very simple chart to understand, but the issue is you need to start believe in 
Bitcoin and these charts. If you look at this Bitcoin chart with three month candles and the Fisher and SMI indicators on the bottom, then we can see that at the moment the blue line crossed above that orange line in both of these indicators. If you now look back to the previous time that happened, then you can see that was in 2020 that that blue line crossed that orange line. And from 2020 low, around 6K, 3K to 6K, we went all the way up to 70K. Also the time before, same story. When in 2016, the blue line crossed above the orange line, we went massively up to the bull market top of 20K. Now these lines have been crossing again. These indicators are flashing and telling us, hey, the next couple of three monthly candles, probably six to eight three monthly candles, will be very bullish. So please understand these charts. They are very simple. And then I think the most important chart for today is to show you that a shitload of people, 725 million people worldwide, are already experiencing a new Bitcoin all-time high. And why? Because of the inflation being that high in their countries. And believe me, this can also happen to the dollar, also happen to the euro, it can happen to any currency existing because of central banks printing them. It already happened to the German Deutsche Mark very long time ago, to the Dutch Gilder very long time ago. It happened to all those centralized fiat currencies once in history. And it can happen again as they keep printing a shitload of currencies out of thin air. Argentina had so much inflation. Do you see that double top on the bottom? That was the bull market of 2021. Do you see how high the price is in Bitcoin now compared to the Argentinian currency? That's like a $40 billion percent increase. That's a shitload of increase if you ask me. Look at Turkey. Turkey has the Turkish Lira, same. That double top was 2021. Now we are way higher than the top in 2021. That's an increase of almost 1 billion percent. Lebanon, same. Pakistan, same. Nigeria, the same. Egypt, the same. In all these countries combined, 725 million people are already experiencing an all-time high for Bitcoin calculated in their currency. That is why I'm telling you it's so important to always store your complete capital in Bitcoin. Treat Bitcoin as your main core currency. You will become richer and richer and richer. Just understand that the people living in Argentina, if they would have 10K in their local currency, they won't be able to buy anything at the moment. And we're talking about within three years time span. They were a little bit rich to now they are really poor. If they would have exchanged that $10,000 worth of their currency into Bitcoin three years ago, they would now be very rich because their Bitcoins would be worth a shitload more now than the local currency that they were treating as their main currency. And this is a very good example that what happened in these countries can happen to each and every one currency in the world that is being printed by central banks out of thin air, nothing backing it. That is why it's important that your full capital your core capital should be Bitcoin. Because if there will be a shit of inflation to the euro or the dollar or any other currency, when you're in Bitcoin, your capital expressed into that local currency will increase tremendously and will increase your purchasing power a shitload. Important chart. Please pause the video and analyze it that you really understand what I'm saying here. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. Yes, not walking the beach today because I need to do some visa stuff this morning. I didn't have time to go to the beach and all that stuff, but I really hope you enjoyed those charts. Did you like that three month chart? Did you like that all time high chart of all those people already experiencing an all time high in the Bitcoin price? Now, more than 725 million people are already celebrating that new all-time high. We will soon celebrate that new all-time high somewhere in 2024, 25, because we still use the dollar or the euro as our base currency. But for all those other people, we already had an all-time high. We will have it soon as well, guys. Always zoom out, look at that bigger picture. Don't 
bother about that short-term volatility. I told you, when everyone was telling you, we will drop to 38, to 34, to 31K, I told you, we will visit 48, to 50, to 60K probably first, before we see another correction. Um, you should have, believed me, you should have dollar cost average last time before 40K at 38K, 39K, at those level when I told you, start to buy a little bit of Bitcoin. If we drop more, you buy extra. And that's the same for now. If we will drop, you can always buy extra, but at least you already bought a 38k and we are already now at 48k again so that's a 10k profit for every and each bitcoin that you bought because of watching my videos now let's quickly jump into the trading tip it's very windy hopefully it doesn't influence the sound too much the trading tip for today cryptocurrencies is a very volatile industry which also means you can make easily profits volatility makes it possible for you to trade so it should be easy to get 1% to 5% profit a day if you're a day trader and really focus on trading. And I'm not talking about those people that have a full-time job and uh, on their way to the job are doing some trades in the train and on the way back home some trades. That's not day trading. Fully focused on trading, 1% to 5% each day should be easy, which can lead easily to $100 profits per day which would be around $3,000 per month. In many countries, that's a huge salary. For those that want to earn more, yeah, you need to trade a little bit more or take a little bit more risk or start with a little bit bigger of capital. But most people will make 2% profit a day when they are trading the cryptocurrency markets. Sometimes you will lose 2%, 3%, but many times you will also win 20%. So an average 2% a day should be easy, reachable with crypto guys. If you don't have the time to trade yourself, then our trading bot is making around 3% a month, which still is a nice amount. If you trade with 100k for the big ballers out there, that's 3k every month extra. But uh, again, if you trade manually, 2% to 5% should be achievable if you really focus on trading because of the market's volatility. There are so many happening that there is always a pair that is about to break out that you can take your profits in. So, if you think you want to become a day trader, then really focus for six to eight hours each day to trading. Not in between your pause or your break or your driving to your job or driving back home. That's not day trading. Day trading is like really trading the market six to eight hours each day to reach those profits of two to 5% every day. 5% every day, 30 days would be 150% each month. That's a shitload of profits if you ask me. So that's a trading tip for the day. If you have the time, to really trade six to eight hours a day, yes, focus fully on trading. If you don't have the time, search a other solution. For example, our trading bot or any other trading bot, but please don't pretend to be a day trader because you will get liquidated every time again and again and again if you don't pay full attention to the market. So that was the trading tip for today. Let's jump into the travel tip. The travel tip for today is about paying with Bitcoin for houses, hotels, and everything else. A lot of people ask me, but how do you do that? And I don't understand that question, or maybe it's just, for me, a too simple question because I've been living this life now already for seven years, and you know, for me, it became completely normal to pay everything with Bitcoin. But how do I do that? It's very simple. There is multiple websites that already support Bitcoin payments. Travala.com, for example, is a beautiful travel website where you can buy your flights, where you can book hotels, apartments, houses, everything you want, and pay directly with Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies. So that's Travala.com. There's way more websites that support Bitcoin by now. But if you don't want to use one of these websites, I have even been using, for example, Airbnb. I find a beautiful house on Airbnb or Idealista in Spain and Portugal or any other like booking website where you can find a house, an apartment for longer term and I start to contact the owner of that apartment or house. You know, you can send direct messages on Airbnb or any other platform and in those direct messages you can even hide your telephone number or whatever other way to communicate with each other and then I will just ask them very politely, hey, is there also a possibility to pay with Bitcoin or maybe with US dollar tether like a stable currency? And you will be in shock of how many people already know what Bitcoin or stable currencies are. And they will all be like, hey, yeah, really cool. That's what, that will be my first transaction in Bitcoin. Yeah, I want to do that. So you can get two reactions. The first reaction is, oh, yeah, shit, man, I heard so many times about Bitcoin and stable coins. I would love to try it. Um, yeah, how do I do this? 
and then you just educate them, hey, you just installed this wallet, I will send you the Bitcoins, you will receive the Bitcoins, you send me the booking confirmation and deal done. In the other hand, you have the reaction of the people that are like, ah, it's really scary because Bitcoin is always going up and down. I don't know how to do it. Um, it's very scary. I, I, I just don't like that if, if you send me, maybe it drops in value. And then you educate them as well. Then you tell them, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. There is this app, for example, Bitso in, in, in Mexico uh, and any other country is another app, but this is the app. And if I send Bitcoins to you in your app, you can directly convert it into your local currency. Mexican peso or Thai baht or European euros. It's very simple. You don't have any risk of losing value. I will send you bitcoins. You will receive those bitcoins, but they will directly be exchanged into your base currency that you are using. And even some apps, you know, support it that it will directly be sent to your local bank account. So you don't have any risk there of losing value if you prefer to do it that way. I, of course, would do it the other way. I would do like 30% I would keep in Bitcoin, maybe 70% to your bank account to cover all the costs. But, you know, there's always two options, two answers you can receive back when you ask. But you need to be prepared to have an answer ready and to spend some extra time to educate those house owners on how they can receive Bitcoin and how they can also convert it into their local shitcoin if they want to. And then they will lose the fear. And then most of them, like 70% of the time, they will say, okay, yeah, let's try it. I can't lose anything. Let's do it. Bam. That's how I do it. That was the travel tip for today. Let's jump into the next part. Then there was the question for today from one of the followers. The question was, how do you do your daily spendings? Do you only use the Bybit debit card or is there any backup system that you're also using when Bybit might stop or not work? Now, I have a shitload of debit cards. We have been in this industry since 2013, and since 2017, 18, we already started to use these debit cards. The first debit card that we ever used was Wirex, and we are still using the Wirex card. We also have the Tab Global card. Tab is a UK listed uh, project. It also has a debit card. We have the Bybit debit card. We have the Crypto.com debit card. We have the Bitsa debit card. We have a shitload of debit cards, and the most beautiful part is not only I have them, my wife has them, and my children, Julie is 18, also has them, and my other kids, of course, also use them, but they use the debit cards with my name, of course. So that's a solution for the children. So yes, we use these debit cards, but we prefer to pay with Bitcoin directly. So we will always ask, hey, can we pay with Bitcoin directly? Or search, for example, online for coupons that we can use to pay for groceries, that you can use for pay to spend at a pizzeria or McDonald's or bit refill. You can even buy, for example, your telephone SIM cards and everything. So you can even pay with Bitcoin for your mobile SIM card and all that stuff. So that's very simple. So bit refill, we use coupons, etc. Direct Bitcoin payments as much as possible. I always will do a chat and like a joke and hey man, let me pay with Bitcoin at a food stand or and sometimes they say, hey yeah, yeah educate me. So I will take a drink and I will educate them at a coffee bar or whatever, you know, and then try to educate to accept Bitcoin. And the second possibility that we use is of course OTC deals that we meet people. For example, here in Thailand, I give them a little bit Bitcoin. They give me a little bit Thai baht and I spend the Thai baht cash so I don't need to use any exchange to exchange and everything. And of course, the third option is using these Bitcoin debit cards like Bybit, like Wirex, like Tab, like Crypto.com. So we use all of these possibilities combined all over the world. Some countries, it's just a little bit more easy to spend Bitcoins directly because the adoption is already ahead. Like in Mexico, Playa de Carmen. In Mexico, Playa de Carmen has more than 10 restaurants accepting direct Bitcoin payments. There's even one rooftop bar that only accepts Bitcoin payments, not even Mexican pesos or dollars. So in Mexico, it's a little bit more easy. Thailand, more and more people started to accept Bitcoin, but then the law made it illegal to accept Bitcoins. Now again, it's getting looser and looser. So now again, yes, Thailand is becoming to be, become more positive towards cryptocurrencies, even um, not paying tax anymore, the 7% on the profits. Also probably will now go into next step again. Hey, yes, it's allowed for stores to accept Bitcoin. In the Netherlands is almost impossible to pay with Bitcoin. Only on and Bitcoin start and a few other stores. But there's also an app. It's called um, Coin ATM Radar. You can find all the places all over the world where you can pay directly with Bitcoin. There's many of these apps. I've been using that one. I've been using Bitcoin. Uh, bitcoinmap.org I think there's many of these websites apps that you can use to find places and stores where you can pay with Bitcoin so that is the answer to the question yes we still don't have bank account we don't cash out to bank accounts yes we use debit cards yes we use OTC services and yes of course we always pay directly in Bitcoin as well now let's jump into the next part 
I have two news items today, guys. Of course, the first news item is about President Biden of the United States of America. He is tweeting a picture of him with Bitcoin laser eyes. Is this a hack? Or is this like really intentional posting? Hey, we will start to support Bitcoin as the United States because so many people invested in the spot ETF, which is my second news item. But let me know down below which one you think it is. Is it a hack or is it supporting Bitcoin to the fullest now as a Bitcoin president? Because he needs to win the elections and he knows he's going to lose the elections if he doesn't support Bitcoin in the evolution of money and the gold of the 21st century. Let me know down below which one of those it is. Now, the second news item is about the spot ETFs because in 30 days time, they reached a milestone of $10 billion worth of spot ETFs. So that's $10 billion worth of spot Bitcoin ETFs in the first 30 days of existence. If you compare that to the history of the top 25, the top 25 ETFs, then in the first two places now are spot Bitcoin ETFs. Even down below on the bottom, we have more Bitcoin spot ETFs, which means this Bitcoin spot ETF has performed best of all other spot ETFs ever created. This is insane. And don't forget, this data is calculated on 30 years, more than 5,000 spot ETF launches. 30 years and 5,000 plus spot ETFs that were created, and the Bitcoin spot ETF is the best of all of them. And of course, that president that's now tweeting those laser eyes also saw these numbers. He's like scratching his head. He's like, whoa, that's like the biggest spot launch ever. And it's the Bitcoin spot ETF launch. And it's like hugely more than all those other spot ETFs. Maybe those first two Bitcoin spot ETFs combined are even more than the whole volume of all those spot ETFs together in history, guys. This is an insane step for the Bitcoin market. So everyone will see these numbers and everyone will understand, wow, Bitcoin is even more popular than we thought. This is being the biggest spot ETF launch ever. So those two news items combined make me even more bullish now about the whole Bitcoin spot ETF stuff when it comes to your capital, because it will increase the value of our capital. It will pump the Bitcoin price. Again, my same standpoint is that it is not good for Bitcoin freedom and not good for Bitcoin being a peer-to-peer -peer cash, sending Bitcoins from one to another person or helping poor people all over the world. It will be a rich man tools, just like gold. It will be the gold of the 21st century, but it's very bullish that we are creating such a huge amount in Bitcoin spot ETFs in the first 30 days and even the president now having beautiful laser eyes because of it. Let's jump into the next part. Reaching the end of the video, guys, the inspirational uh, life advice part. Uh, today's quote is a very powerful quote. It's a long one, but it's a very powerful one. Don't be pushed around by all those fears in your mind. Instead of that, be led by the dreams in your heart. Believe in yourself. You are braver than you think. You're more talented than you think and capable of more than you can ever imagine. That is a very important few sentences that you really need to print into your brain because it's really the truth. Never doubt yourself. Believe fully in the full potential of you as a human being. Imagine all of that, that you think that it's unreachable. Just start to imagine that it is reachable. Start to imagine, visualize mindfulness about all the situations that you think that are not reachable. But then look around you all over the world. Look at those people that did reach what you think that is unreachable. And then you ask yourself, if they can reach those goals, won't I be able to reach the same goals? What is the difference? We are both human beings. We both have a pair of brains. The only difference is their mindset. Their mindset. They really truly believed that they would achieve all their goals and they never started to doubt themselves. They kept going to reach all their goals in their life. They kept pursuing all what they dreamt of in their hearts. 
they were not controlled by the fear in their mind. They believed in all the talents that they had and that they created for themselves by practicing, by training, by all of the stuff that you can do to enhance your talent. But it all started with that they were brave enough to think and act different. I think that's the most important step of all of this. You need to be brave enough to not only think, but also act different. The moment you grasp that, that you need to be brave enough, you will become brave enough, you will start to think and act different, which will lead to you following all that feelings in your heart, in your gut, all those dreams. You will start to focus on using your talent and understand that you're capable of way more than you think you are. That is my life lessons for today, guys. Please start to believe in yourself, get the courage to think different and to act different, and it will all change. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about all the charts, about everything else that we talked about today again? Please use all the links down below the videos. That is, of course, our income as the Bitcoin family that we earn a little bit more. Yes, you need to help us through this strong winter. Yes, in Thailand. <laughs> Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bam!